Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. Y'all come on in the studio for another paint party this week. Um, if you're watching on replay, comment hashtag replay or just say hello. Let me know where you're from. If you're new, let us know that so we can welcome you. And if you're watching on YouTube, we'd love for you to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. Uh, try to upload three to four times a week at least. So that's a little, there's a lot of videos over there. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Donna. And you can, if you're watching on replay, you know you can fast forward right through this part and get right to the painting if you want to. Hey, Carol. Two Carols in a row. Thank you. Hi, y'all. Hey, Rose. Hey, Betty. There's Trish. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Trish. I am wearing, I'm wearing my new jewelry. I've got my little cross. I forgot the name of it, though. We'll have to talk about it when everybody gets here. Hello, Jermaine. It's so nice to see you, too. Thank you, Trish. This is another Belle Lily, and I have never worn this before because I order the same size always. I size up, and this one's too big. And I, every time I put it on, I think, oh, it'll look like a sack of potatoes. But I'll show it to y'all here in a second. Um, hey, Michelle. Hey, Jerry. Iris is here. Hello, hello. Hi, Ruth. Hey, Nancy. Thank you for tossing the taters, Jerry. Hey, Cheryl. It is. It's, it's, it, I think it was in, it was either in the last order or the one before, and I just haven't worn it yet. I'm going to show you. It's got a little thing at the bottom. It's, it's very comfortable. It's just a little, doesn't look right on me because it's a little big. Uh, hey, Sue. Oh, I appreciate that. Hey, Donna and Gail. Oh, you set your alarm, Libby. Thank you so much. Hey, Cheryl. And Vanetta. Oh, you're here. I'm so happy to see you, my friend. Thanks, Cindy, for dropping that link. Hey, Debbie. Sue has sprinkled the blessings, and I appreciate that. Hey, Gail. Hey, Debbie. And Lori Hanby's here. Hey. It's a good fall top, y'all. If you want to order it, you know, if you live in a place like Memphis that it can be really, really hot in the fall, this is a good one. Hey, Tarita. Hi, Karen and Linda and Vicky's here. Hey, hey, Patty Willard. Oh, see, I brought the sunshine <laughs> with me. <laughs> if you only knew how ironic that is today. I have not been a sunshiny person. Hey, Susan. Well, Karen, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you to say. Y'all are very, very kind. Hey, Danielle. I'm going to be listening while I finish up my fake cake. Are you doing something like Amanda? Oh, my goodness. There, every morning I get up to look at them because I, I go to bed before she's done. I'm old. And, oh, I can't believe what she's doing. They're amazing. Well, thank you, Michelle. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Sarah. And there's Regina. Regina, I've put out the call. We're working on it. Hey, Simone. Sue's here, everybody. Hey, Laura. Thank you so much. Hey, Pamela and Glenda. Wow. Okay. Wow, everybody's here. I'm just so happy. Oh, thank you, Lori. Hey, Diana. Flip the camera. I'm going to. You just wait. I'm going to. I promise. I know y'all are used to seeing it the other way, but I have to have it this way to paint. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Elena. Thank you. Well, everybody's liking the top, so let me tell you. Um, so it's a Belle Lily, and I had ordered several of the winter tops that are long sleeve in this style, and I love, love, love them. They have this cute little detail on the bottom with three buttons and then it they put some of the fabric from the top down here I know I have several of them uh, but this one this was kind of big <laughs> I thought you know if it were just taken up just a little bit now I know I need room up here but anyway if I this if it was taken up just a little bit I was gonna get um, Mr. T to pin it in the back for me um, but he's big. He's so busy. He's so busy, busy. 
So I'm glad y'all like it. It's Belle Lily. It's as, uh, I hate to use that word for their clothes, but I was going to use the expression that Moidel uses. It's cheap and cheerful. You're not going to break the bank on Belle Lily clothes. And so far, y'all know how long I've been um, wearing them and washing them and washing them. And they're holding up beautifully. I have nothing bad to say about them, I would tell y'all. Hey, sussy. Okay, we are painting, Karen. Yes, because in case, just in case y'all missed it, um, we did Piggy Sue on um, Tuesday. I had to think of what day today was. We did Piggy Sue and had so much fun. Y'all wanted me to do a cow. Karen, oh, I'm so sorry you've had a rough week. I am sorry, and I'm thankful that if I can brighten it up just a little bit, I'll be so happy. Well, I didn't have another... 10 by 10 burlap canvas that I could find up there, but I had two 8 by 8s. So here's what's going to happen. Um, it is Patty. It's a little too big. And you know, with my being short and I'm short y'all, I'm 5'2", it, it's not flattering, you know, to, to just look like you're wearing a box top. But uh, anyway, so what we're going to do, Piggy Sue, let me announce this. We, Mr. T and I are going to be live at our usual time Sunday at 4. And we're going to do an, our third live auction. And um, y'all always show up for us. And I'm, I'm so excited. It, it's, it gets to be where I have pieces that we have created together all over the studio. And I just, <laughs> I need to, it's time to move them out again. So they're all on the dining room table now. I'm going to be getting pictures of everything. Um, I'm going to try to do an 8x8 eight eight of Piggy Sue so that she'll go with what we're going to do today in case anybody wanted a set. Um, so, yeah, auction Sunday. You're the first to know. Uh, you'll be hearing more about that on, uh, you know, in between tomorrow and Saturday for sure. I'll post pictures of stuff. We'll do some fun uh, TikToks and Reels. I'm learning all the things. Oh my, how did that happen, Karen? She's four foot nine and her twin brother is six foot three. <laughs> it's very comfy. It is very cheerful. I love this style. I just think, you know, I didn't know ahead of time. I should have maybe gotten a medium in this one. Who knows? A sheep face. Oh, well, I didn't pick a sheep today because I listened to what y'all were saying. Um, need a little bit more air in here. Uh, wanting a cow. So we have a cow in a bandana chalked out on another uh, burlap canvas. So here we go. We're going to flip and bring you over the top here and see if we can make this a cute cow. And we'll bring it down where you can kind of see what I'm doing. And we're going to get going on this. Oh, you have scoliosis, Karen. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, let me make a little room here. I'm going to put my little paper plate palette out. Hey, Michelle, thank you for sprinkling. Let's get out some white first. Yep, I was upside down one now for just a second. But now, you are going to be able to just see exactly what I see while I paint. So I don't have to paint down here and then show it up here. Hey, Penny. You can do that, Betty? Do I need to take, you know, like measurements or anything? Oh, my goodness. I didn't know you could do that. You, you are so talented. I wish I could do that now. I am not a seamstress. face. Oh, yeah, that's right, Lori. <laughs> oh, and listen, before today's over, let me tell you, we need to do some happy mail. Judy, thank you for the stars. Oh, but how do you always see Moidle? And I never see her come in. Thank you, Betty. Okay, I'm getting a little black on here. Hey, Kelly. We'll see if I don't mess it up. I'm going to try to make it cute. We'll just see. Um, 
And I'm just going to play around, I think, with some pink. This time I'm using um, Pink Balloon. So, let's see. I want to start with... Oh, where to begin? Hey, Moido, now I see you. Uh, Simone says, oh, I missed it. I love that you sketch it out first before painting it gives me the confidence to do that. Yes, I have, to, I have to have a sketch at least um, to go by first. It's just the way I've always kind of done it. And then, you know, I always say in my classes, it's just a mere suggestion because it may change up. But it helps me and my brain to have that you know, kind of chalk outline. Sometimes I stick with it and sometimes I don't. All right, now. You don't mess anything up. Oh, you know I do. Y'all have seen me mess up before now. And that's okay. If I mess up, I just try to show y'all the way to fix it, right? We're gonna do a little. I have painted about a million and one cows too. I, I did a lot of cows, you know, I did a lot of farm animals, especially when I was first starting out. What color is your cow? I'm gonna do black and white. Yeah, we're keeping it simple today. I thought about, you know, a cute little brown cow and I thought, no, let's just go black and white with her little bandana on. And, okay, yeah, well, I don't want to get too crazy here. I want to keep these kind of simple and playful. So, you know, if y'all want to paint them, it's not going to feel like it's just so intimidating because it's not. See if we can make her just pop out of this canvas. So, are, I, I've asked before. Let me ask again: Are y'all um, are y'all ready for another auction? Carrie, you have one of my cows in your on your living room table. Oh, good! That makes me so happy. I'll just kind of come down like that. Uh, Opa, I do too. I need to, um, I need to see if I can, there's about a million and one things in my head right now that need to be done and templates for some of these would be one of them. I just don't have them. I literally sat down just a few minutes ago took a piece of chalk because it, it's just been another crazy day um, and just <laughs> went to drawing her out so but you know you can always get you know get on Pinterest and look up cute cow paintings and just you know draw what you see there I know you can do it and the more you do it the easier it'll get Uh, Simone, yes, we are, we are always adding new pieces, but I will say that, um, let's see, we've not had, now, whatever's in our shop right now, um, you can order, you know, he, he makes them on order, um, but he has not designed anything new lately because he's been working on this, uh, outdoor porch, this, um, his outdoor kitchen thing, so... We don't have anything, you know, but see, it's cycling back around. Y'all ought to go and check out the things we had from last fall. Some of our fall designs or the, even the fall before, you can still get those. 
All right, I think I always have to forget a color. Let's get a gray. I like to have a gray for shading. Um, yeah, y'all know I like drizzle gray. Okay, let's see. Definitely ready for auction, and I love your auctions. Are you going to post pictures? Yes, um, I'll post pictures ahead of time so y'all know what to expect, and you can kind of pick and choose what you might want to be um, looking for, what might go in your home or might be a good Christmas gift for somebody. So I'm, I've, I've got them all laid out in there, and uh, we'll definitely be doing that. <laughs> yeah, there's a Shady Sadie t-shirt. Uh, Y'all, did you see her with her Love and Life jewelry on now? Oh, my goodness. I squealed. That was a fun collaboration. Now, it may be the only one because, boy, that was not easy, was it, Trish? <laughs> it took both of us. Um corralling beads and those little bitty chains if we do it again it'll have to be a um a big old canvas <laughs> give her her little bottom lip down here Do any of y'all like paint by number? I've got something I may be doing uh, here live with y'all soon. And I just wondered. I know that, yeah, a lot of people like to start, well, they've already started Christmas shopping. I've never been one of those smart people like that that can, you know, work ahead of time like that, but uh, I know a lot of y'all do, or you start creating, you know, ahead of time, which is smart. I'm just playing, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Now, okay, let's get out some black. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, when I was, um, oh, I forgot a paper towel. When I was a little girl, I loved to do paint by number, and my mom and dad did too. In my grandmother's house, there was a big German Shepherd that my mother had done on paint by number. Wait, did mom do the German Shepherd? Maybe dad did. Anyway, I had, I wish I still had those. They were so wonderful. You know, they were real 50s and 60s-ish, early 60s-ish looking. You're smart, Lori, to do that. Do not have time to eat or go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to find time to watch you, though. Oh, Carrie, I know how busy you must be. I don't know how you do it. Well, Kathy, we will get you back into it. And I have some fun classes in the online shop if you're interested. Um... They're just all kinds of classes. There's a cute uh, little, didn't I do a fall gnome last year as a class, I believe? And um, there's a sunflower that is textured and I teach you how to do that. Oh, that was a lot of fun. A black and white pig I have. I have done that, Gail. Hey, Angie. Thank you, Diane. We're seeing if we can coax her out of this burlap. So you see, it's nothing fancy yet. She's just a, just a cutie pie. Oh, thank you for, for that link, Cindy. Yeah. Daisy May. That's a cute name. 
black and white cows. Dad had the farm for 75 years. Oh, what a life he had, Iris. That's so wonderful. 98 years old. Oh, that's great. Let's see. We're going to put a little bit of gray up in here, maybe. This is an 8x8, eight eight, Darlene. I reached up there to my burlap canvases thinking I had another 10x10 uh, 10 10 and I could not find it. If it's in here, I'm going to have to look some more because Piggy Sue was a 10x10. 10 10. So I won't get to paint tomorrow because I'm taking my little mama shopping. Uh, and I know that's going to take up the whole day. <laughs> she doesn't do anything fast. And that's all right. But um, maybe Saturday, you know, if I if I can get another Piggy Sue painted in an 8x8, eight eight, I will for the auction. Let's see, where's my list? I had ended up, so far we have 23 items, though. Um, that's a lot. I think last time I had 28. And we managed to get through it in an hour or a little more. Hey, Marilyn, how are you doing? Um, they are $10. Just, just a flat rate of ten dollars. It's not a subscription. Um, I think the one there was one that was just a little bit more, and it may have been the sunflower because it was several lessons because we learned the technique that I use for texture and then painting. And I just think I think it was only twelve dollars. I don't think it was a whole lot more. I try to keep them low. I hope so, Cindy. Uh, Lori, I am really thinking about prints of Piggy Sue. I got a good, I think it's going to be a good print worthy um, photo. So, if I did prints of her, would y'all want her on canvas or just like heavy cardstock or what? I'm going to start talking to my printer about that. Now I'm going to take the gray and just do a little shadow over here just so she's not, you know, she wants to have a little dimension. Yeah, thank you, Betty. That's right. It was the, the uh, sunflower. It was a little bit more. Hey, Judy, that's all right. We're just painting this cow. Relaxing. Here and let's do gray up here. Let's do a little bit of her ears. Hey, Cindy, that's all right. I'm just glad you made it. Yeah, better late than never. You need some white on the body, not solid black. Okay, we can do that. We can add. I'll just keep her kind of cartoony, but that's fine. We can let her dry and, and put a little white on there. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, thanks, Pat. Oh, yeah, yeah. There are tracers in the majority of my paint classes. Uh, there are some, though, that are just, it, it's so easy that I just walk you through the simple shapes of it, and no one's had any trouble so far, so. But yes, the majority of them have tracers. There's a little gray. Here. 
how is everybody doing today? I was just kind of getting in the zone there for a minute. Thank you, Cindy. Hey, Lori Lulu, how you doing? I'm trying to coax her right out of this canvas. I forgot to show y'all I'm wearing my one of my new bracelets from Love and Life Jewelry. This is called Himalayan Poppy. Diane, thank you for those stars. Um, and I was just so fascinated by her naming it Himalayan Poppies. That's the most, that's just such a pretty name. And uh, she said she had looked up light blue flowers because this was such an interesting color which I love this this bead is beautiful and she said she's found Himalayan poppies are this color and that's what she named it and I just thought that was so cool so yeah got a Himalayan poppies bracelet on I know, doesn't she, Cindy? I was talking to her about that yesterday. I just love the name she comes up. She's always been great with naming things, though. Um, when I started out, she named all of my farm animals I painted. <laughs> but these, uh, her jewelry, the, the name she gives her jewelry are just, it's like, well, of course that's the name. That's perfect. It just fits. Hang some pearls on. Oh, yeah. Or a blinged out cowbell. <laughs> really, Opa? That's so funny. Oh, that's funny, funny. All right, so we're going to. Da -da, let's see. Now, I'm going to wipe off some of this gray. I'm going to put this in here. Let's see if we can bring out some eyeballs. That's tricky when you've got a, a black cow with black eyeballs, but we're going to see what we can do here. Oh, thank you, Libby. We had such a good day yesterday. I think I think we both really needed that. It had been a long time, and it was fun to get to spend a good part of the day with y'all. I think I want that to be black, too. Yeah, that sounds cool. A blinged out cowbell. No, I didn't think about that. Let's look at look up what a cowbell even looks like. I've I've painted an actual cowbell before that someone brought me a long time ago, but I think it's just kind of I don't know. Hey Stephanie, thank you. <laughs> There's Stephanie from the Vintage Pebble. She is going to be in the August 20th MacGyver event with us in the Memphis Bells Creative Circle. It's getting close, y'all. I'm going to have to tell your friends. All right. What to do? Oh, earrings, yeah. Every Christmas in the commercial appeal when you were growing up. Oh, yes, Patty, I do. What a memory, yeah. Betty, that's a cute idea. A 3D. You, okay, here's the deal. <laughs> Whoever wins the auction. Can I say that? The w word whoever gets the high bid on her in the auction can can make her a cowbell when she gets to your house <laughs> um. 
Right, Jody? I'm intrigued by it too because I don't know what I'm doing yet. But it is going to be so much fun to watch how everybody incorporates those three items into their creation. Stephanie, do you know what you're doing yet? <laughs> there you go, Betty. <laughs> Yeah, it would, Lori, if, if he ever gets back into that wood shop. I gotta get that man back to work now. He's been working here. But we're in the home stretch, so. Okay, how are we doing so far? Rinse this off. Yeah, I may be doing that, Karen. I'm going to see. I'm going to add this white and see what we're going to do. Got to go pick up granddaughter. Okay. Bye, Judy. Thank you for popping in. Blue eyes, really? On a cow? Let me give her a little um, reflection here and see how she does. We're going to outline them. Wait a minute. Yeah, Betty, what color are your... Uh, thank you, Robin, for the stars. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> brown eyes. I was thinking, yeah, probably brown, but, uh. I'm wondering if, if I could fake eyelashes with um, gray over that black. Let's see. I'm going to 
don't show up very well. Lindy, I need your opinion. I have been working on a wreath for my daughter with all kinds of rope textures. On the bow, I was thinking of adding a brooch that was my mom's. What do you think? It's hard when you can't see it, but the whole idea of your mom's brooch being on that wreath um, just makes my heart sing. You know what? I'm going to go up here a little bit. That's what I was just thinking, Patty. I really did. I thought, oh, I wonder how real false eyelashes would look on her. What color is her, um, I almost called it a headband. What color is her bandana going to be? What color? Red? Should we do a red bandana? I'm just gonna wait till it catches up and see what uh, what color y'all think. I'm kind of going thinking about um, uh, red with white polka dot, red red and yellow. Oh, red with polka dot. Yeah, I definitely want to do polka dots. Good. <laughs> Nobody likes purple though, Cindy. <laughs> I mean, Jody. <laughs> I know. Doesn't that just make your heart sing, Tony? I think so. Okay, let me go get... The thing about yellow is if I'm going to do yellow polka dots, I'll have to do white polka dots first and then yellow on top of the white because it's not... It's so transparent. But we could do that. Let's see how she looks with the red first. See if I can manage this. Um... Oh, pink. Pink would be cute. Red and white polka dots. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's let's. I've got red out here on my thing now already. So let's see if I can just paint her little bandana going around here. I've painted a lot of cows, but bandanas I've not painted a lot of. Uh, yeah, um, let's see, Piggy Sue's is like a teal color with white polka dots that are diamond dusted. So I think whatever uh, color, I mean, whatever polka dots we put on this one, they need to be diamond dusted too because that's just too fun, right? Now let's see. Again, I forgot my contrasting dark color. I've got to get out some brick red. And get the brick red out. So I can, it shows me where I kind of want the lines to be, the shadows to be. Stacy just got here. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Diane, for those stars. That's very sweet of you. All right, let's do a little here. Here.
thank you, Ruth. I, um, you know, I, I prayed about it before I went live because I was not feeling as confident today. Oh, me. Lord, is this going to work out? That's okay, Be Becky. I'm just glad you're here. Um, you're just having a good time painting this cow. Thank you, Gail. I didn't see you came in so quietly, I did not see you. Oh, uh, let me see. Thank you, Regina. How precious they're going to look as a pair. Thank you, Donna. I've got to, um, Piggy Sue is, is bigger than this one. Because, well, I've got to get up there. They're on my top shelf. And Mr. T's so busy right now that I uh, kind of got to do that myself. I've got to get up there and see if I can find another 10 by 10. But I did get another 8 by 8 out, and I'm going to do another Piggy Sue. So if anybody wants to purchase them as a set or, you know, bid on both at the auction, they can. Dark right in here. Hey, Laura. Thank you, Diane. I, I sure do enjoy painting. I, I just really love it. And so I'm glad y'all don't mind watching me paint here and there. I don't want to show y'all that if I can do it, you can do it too. Is it going to rain again? It rained. Finally rained here yesterday. I think that's thunder rolling. And then the sun came out, and then the clouds came back. It was raining this morning. Clancy, Carol, that's cute. We've I've heard y'all talk about Clarabelle and Daisy May. What else have y'all said? I guess I should, probably should have done this side going down. Oop, do I want to do that? I don't know. Let's see how that looks. It's not too bad. I really like that red bandana. That's cute. You make painting look so easy. Thank you, Regina. I've been painting almost every day for the past eight years. So anybody's going to, you know, practice makes better. And I'm still practicing. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. So, y'all, how's that looking? Oh, good, Diane. I don't, I can't wait for you to show us. I want y'all to try these. They look okay. Hey, Barb, you made it. Okay, look, I'm going to hit the bandana with the blow dryer. So we can add her pretty white polka dots and uh, diamond dust them. I think 
think she's pretty cute. Thank you, Gail. Oh. I love reading y'all's comments. Moosiel Ball. Oh, Moosiel. A minute. Musil ball. <laughs> That's cute. It's Musil ball. Thank you, Brenda. Thanks, Lori. Is that a flat brush? Yes. Uh, I was using a filbert brush. Doesn't she, Stacy? I think that is a cute idea. If we did put a um, pearl necklace on her, uh, we could bling that out. I mean, we could uh, diamond dust that too. That would be good. Oh, I'm glad y'all are liking her. Let's get her a little, her smallest filbert brush out. Oh, let's do, let's do this one. brush. There we go. I wonder how white eyelashes would do. Yeah. Timmy, that's a good idea. Um, I'm not sure. Does Talisa love pigs? Thank you, Karen, for those stars. That's very sweet of you. the white and then black over to pull them out. That's a good idea, Cindy. I think I'll try that. Because I would like her to have some pretty lashes. You need to get back to it, Germaine. Yes. Highlight the eyelashes with thin white. That's, yeah, Kathy, that's good. Telling me to stand up. How does that look? Her white polka dotted headband. It's not too bad. Let's work on those lashes. Hey, Elizabeth. Okay, let's see. We're gonna do. Specs here. Hey, Anita. I'm telling you, this uh, burlap is a little bit different to work on. Okay, wipe 
that off. And let's go in with a little. Black. I think that's going to be cute. Yeah, I think that's going to do. If you're on just a regular canvas, this is a little bit easier, but there are so many fibers, you know, on this burlap canvas that it, these little details like this get caught up in these fibers, especially eyelashes. Okay, pink inside the ears now. I think I'm gonna be good with her just like that. I think that's gonna be all right. Um, I might, you know, next time change her up like that and do pink in the ears, yeah. Um, let's see, we're gonna do this. And I have started, um, like on Piggy Sue, on the back of my canvases, I'm going to be putting the month and year that I painted them. Um, I kind of hated that I quit doing that. You know, when I did the mixed media girl the, last week, uh, she knows she matters. And I had one from 2014, and then we did a new one. Should I put the 2014 version in the auction? I was thinking I might do that. Well, you could, Lori, but it kind of defeats the purpose to me of uh, the texture is what I love about the burlap. So, you know, I kind of just decide if it's, um, you know, kind of a piece that I want to be burlap that the background would make sense on or... Um, now, my favorite, honestly, was when Hobby Lobby had linen canvases, and they were, they were this brown, but they were a very soft linen, and I could do a pet portrait on that, and the dog would just pop right off the canvas without quite as many, um, it didn't have as many fibers, you know, sticking up, it was smooth, um, but on farm animals and things, I kind of like that look. And um, I'm thinking about doing a chicken in a headband, too. What do y'all think? We could do a little tongue hanging out. I don't know. I just kind of like her like that. I want to add a little uh, gray down in here, to on her lip. Oh, yeah. i got to do the diamond dust. Thank you, Cindy. Yes. Got to do the diamond dust. Oh, and I have, um, I have some happy mail I want to tell y'all about. Once I flip y'all up, we're going to do a little happy mail. Because it's been a minute. Let's see. Now I want to blend that in with white. So I can smoosh it around like that. A goat would be cute. A donkey. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. All the animals. Okay, diamond dust, diamond dust. Here we go. Thank you, Emily. Oh, a daisy would be cute hanging out of her mouth, Maria. Yes.
Sherry wants a chicken. We need to do a chicken. We may do some more painting next week. We're going to do the auction on Sunday. So that's what Sunday's live will be at 4 o'clock. And then we'll be back to creating, painting, whatever we decide we're going to do Tuesday and Thursday next week. And then on the 20th is the Memphis Bells Creative Circle MacGyver event. We have to create with a bulb, a stick, and a letter. However we want to um, interpret that. <coughs> so that's going to be fun. Okay. All right. Now, let me get... i got to get another plate here. I'm going to get ready for Diamond Dust collection. one of the polka dots. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, I've painted a lot of horses, Diana. I have. Wait, what's... That's going to be wild. What's going to be wild? Hey, Elizabeth, I'm so glad you caught, you caught the end of her. Look at there. I kind of, I kind of really like her. I hope y'all do too. Okay. Diamond dust. We done. Okay. Here we go. Ellie's here. Ellie's going to be live at 545. Let's get that. Silence that. Where am I? Okay. All right. I got a money shot first. Is she cute? Is she cute? She's she's one of my more simple cows. Might try her in brown the next time. I heard what y'all said about you know having something out of her mouth or her tongue, so we may. I'm going to have to work on that. But she's pretty cute, isn't she? Cutie patootie cow. Move a less. <laughs> Wait. Oh, should we tell it, Cindy? She kind of looks like Maggie Moo. <laughs> I don't know about that. Have y'all looked up Maggie Moo? <laughs> Sounded like a good idea, didn't it? So, I want to tell y'all about the happy mail I got yesterday. Uh, Jennifer Lassard had messaged me about these. And um, I told her absolutely to send them on and I would spread the love. I've already started spreading the love because I got them yesterday when Trish was here. And I went on and let Trish pick one out. But this sweet lady has had some hardships in her life. And I don't know how much she's, you know, wanting me to share or, you know, but... Oh, I lost my, it just knocked me right off of my page down here. So, I got to get back on here to, oh, I wish y'all could see what it froze me on. A goofy face. Why does Facebook do that to you? Okay, so, we're going to spread the love out. I'm still crooked. She makes, by hand, these beautiful, these go on the, um, your rear view mirror and it, well you can hang them anywhere but that's you know what she had mentioned they are guardian angels i'm gonna get one out to show you now i'm gonna keep one i picked mine out bye jody i'm so glad you were here um so she makes these by hand just to bring others joy um let me see click it click that one so hang, this will hang in my tater bug. And it'll, it's your guardian angel that will be riding with you. 
So she makes every one of these by hand. Look at the little, look at these little angels. And there's all these pretty little charms. This has an angel on it. They're all different. Um, there are different colors. So thank you, Karen. We talked about that at the beginning. It's Bell Lily. Kim, you can always watch on replay. Aren't they beautiful? So, if you're interested in a guardian angel from our sweet tater bug, Jennifer, I would love to send them to you. Let's start with two today. We're going to spread them out so more people have opportunity. Um, if y'all want to just tell me your favorite color, comment your favorite color if you want one, and I'll see what I've got over here. She sent quite a few, so we're going to be able to bless She's going to be blessing a lot of y'all with these. Does it, Regina? Well, Regina, then how about this one's yours? There's Regina Mills. Write that down, Regina. I've probably got your address. I'm sure I've got your address. Wait a minute. Ooh, be prepared, Lindy. Okay, that was a surprise one, so we're going to do three. What color would you call this? That's a kind of a, I'm gonna call it khaki. All right. I want my tater bug back. They're still trying to fix her. I'm sad without my tater bug. Tater bug. Okay, now let me, let me scroll. I'm gonna look up here while I scroll down here. Teal and purple, Carol Parks. I'll see if there's a teal, teal or purple. Okay, let me do one more. This is fun. Okay, let me, okay, we're scrolling, 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 scrolling. Linda Gaylord, love those, love red, but any color would be welcome. Okay, Linda Gaylord. And if you didn't get one today, uh, I'll be giving more away next week. Probably not during the auction on Sunday, but um, Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to do some more because that was so sweet of her. Uh, she just wants all of y'all to be blessed. And uh, it was easier for her to just send them to me and me do them as happy mail. Jennifer, if you watch this, I don't think I saw your name on today, but if you see this, thank you. I'm going to send you a note, too, to let you know how we're doing this. Um, and you are amazing. You're really amazing. And I don't know if you want, you know, you can let me know if it's okay to share the rest of your story. But I, I don't know how you did this. I really do not. That it's amazing. Okay. So, it is now. We've got Regina Mills, Carol Parks, Linda Gaylord. Uh, it would be great if you would just message me your address, your shipping address. And if I can corral Mr. T long enough, these are going to go right out in the mail to you. <laughs> They're all beautiful. You won't be sad with any of them, I promise. She is, she's an amazing lady. And we have a lot of amazing ladies. All of y'all are amazing. Um, sweet tater bugs. Y'all never cease to amaze me with your generosity and um, kindness. And we appreciate it. Uh, hey, Beverly. So, um, thank you, Regina. Elizabeth, Ellie's at it, 545. Am I forgetting anything? Is that all? Is that you know, auction Sunday? I would be posting pictures. We're going to do them in groups. So, I'll start taking the pictures and you'll see auction posts. So, be looking for those so you know which ones you might want, which ones you're not going to waste your time bidding on. Um, you'll see some fun little videos of them, hopefully, if I get my act together. And um, these are made by Jennifer Lassard. That's one of our sweet tater bugs. And she had asked me if she could send them. And, of course, I told her absolutely. I would love to send them out as happy mail. And that's what they just got here late yesterday afternoon. So, and Trish got hers. Uh, Evelyn, I will let, let me write that note down. Um, Cause I'm going to be messaging her a thank you. 
and um, if you all, I, I tell you what, um, since several of you want to buy from her, let me get permission, and I will post in Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs, and um, let her, you know, be blessed by y'all. We'll see if, if she does that. That would be wonderful. I would love, love, love to help her out. So, um, she's just a generous sweetheart. Um, anyway, yeah, Lori, you don't even have to hang it from your mirror. You could, you know, you could hang that anywhere. It, hang it from a light switch. You know, just a little reminder that you have a, a guardian angel looking out for you. And her name is Jennifer. <laughs> Y'all have a great evening. Enjoy Ellie's at it, because I know I will. Um, Amanda is still doing her 5 and 5 from Amanda Maid, so don't miss that. Uh, Trish, are you here? Coffee chat in the morning at Love and Life with Trish, because I'm really digging that coffee chat with you at 10 o'clock on Friday mornings. Uh, yes, Regina, he will be cooking tomorrow night. We don't know what yet, but he is going to be cooking. Good idea, Jerry. Hanging on your purse. That would be cute hanging on your purse. Yes, I love it. It goes with you everywhere you go. Oh, good, Tony. Okay, well, here we go. I hate to leave, but I'm gonna. And um, I love y'all, and I will see you Sunday at 4. Well, I'll see you tomorrow night at 5.30 before then. You won't see me, but okay. Bye.